Good day everyone! Welcome back to General Mathematics. It is still me, Engineer Omengan, to teach you logarithmic functions. Welcome to logarithmic functions LBVG Math 1-5.2 to 1-5.3a. In this topic, our most essential learning competency distinguishes logarithmic function logarithmic equation, and logarithmic inequality. Solves logarithmic equations and inequalities. The topics covered in this video are definition of logarithmic function, equation, and inequality, loss of logarithms, and problems involving logarithmic equation and inequality. For our learning objectives, by the end of this video, we want to distinguish the difference between logarithmic function, equation, and inequality. To know the different laws of logarithms used in solving logarithmic equations and inequality. And to solve problems involving logarithmic equations and inequality. Now, what is the difference between logarithmic function, equation, and inequality? A logarithmic function with base b is defined by f of x equals log of x to the base b. This is a function. And if we remove f of x, it becomes an expression. Therefore, the primary distinction of a function is this f of x. For our logarithmic function, we have a restriction. We should note that our base should be greater than 0 and not equal to 1. For logarithmic equation, an equality or equation that involves an expression such as log of x to the base b is called a logarithmic equation. For example, we have log of 8 to the base 2 equals x. We know that x is equal to 3 that is because when you raise the base 2 to the 3 or 3rd power, the answer is 8. Logarithmic equations may also involve two logarithmic expressions equated to each other. For example, log of 8 to the base 2 equals log of x to the base 4. We can see that two logarithmic expression is equated to one another. But we know that log of a to the base 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, we will have 3 is equal to the log of x to the base 4. Rearranging this equation to become exponential, it will become 4 cubed equals x. And we know that 4 cubed is 64. Therefore, x equals 64. Let us now proceed to logarithmic inequality. An inequality of the form log of x to the base b is greater than or equal to 0 or log of x to the base b is less than or equal to 0 or any variation of this type is called a logarithmic inequality. For example, we have log of 8 to the base 2 equals x. Logarithmic inequalities are similar to logarithmic equations but instead of the equality sign, we use inequality symbols, such as greater than. The following are the commonly used inequality symbol. So we have greater than with this symbol. We also have less than with this symbol. We also have greater than or equal to with this symbol and less than or equal to with this symbol. Let us now discuss the different laws or properties of logarithm. Our first property of logarithm is the logarithm of 1 to any base b is equal to 0. Let's express this in exponential form. So if we have log of x to the base a equals b, we can express it in this form. a raised to b equals x. Therefore, from logarithm of 1 
to the base b equals 0, then we will have b raised to 0 equals 1. Because we know that any number except 0 is raised to 0 is equal to 1. Our next property of logarithm is log of b to the base b is equal to 1. Let's express this in exponential form. We can rearrange them so from log of x to the base a is equal to b to become a raised to b equals x. Therefore, from log of b to the base b is equal to 1, it will become b raised to 1 equals b. Because we know that any number raised to 1 is itself. Next, we have the logarithm of the product of x, y to the base b is equal to logarithm of x to the base b plus logarithm of y to the base b. Let the product of x and y be equal to 81, b be equal to 3, x equals 27, and y equals 3. Substituting them to this form, we will have log of 81 to the base 3, that is equal to log of 27 times 3 to base 3, because we know that 27 times 3 is 81. And that is equal to log of 27 to the base 3 plus log of 3 to the base 3. And then we will have 4 equals 3 plus 1, because we know that 3 raised to 3 equals 27, and 3 raised to 1 equals 3. So by extension, 3 plus 1 equals 4. So 3 raised to 4 equals 81. And we can verify that in our calculators. Next, we have log of x over y to the base b that is equal to log of x to the base b minus log of y to the base b. So, let x be equal to 81 and y equal to 3. Therefore, x divided by y is 27 and b is still 3. Substituting them, we will have log of 27 to the base 3 equals log of 81 over 3 to the base 3 and that is equal to log of 81 to the base 3 minus log of 3 to the base 3. From our previous example, we know that 3 raised to 4 equals 81 and 3 raised to 1 equals 3. So 4 minus 1 equals 3. From that, we know that 3 raised to 3 equals 27. Therefore, this law or property is true. Next property is log of x raised to n to the base b is equal to n times the log of x to the base b. Let x be equal to 2, n equals 3, and b equals 2. Then we will have log of 2 cube to the base 2. We can express 2 cube as 2 times 2 times 2. So from our previous properties, we know that when we have the log of the product, that is equal to the sum of the individual logarithms of the factors. So, we have log of the product of xy to the base b, that is equal to logarithm of x to the base b plus logarithm of y to the base b. So, in this case, we will have log of 2 to the base 2 plus log of 2 to the base 2 plus log of 2 to the base 2 and that is equal to 3 log of 2 to the base 2, or 3 times log of 2 to the base 2. Now, let me introduce to you the inverse property of natural logarithm. So, whenever we see this property, we can simplify our equation. So, we have e raised to ln of x that is equal to simply x. 
Let's answer some problems. Problem number 9. Evaluate log of 4 plus log of 25. We know that if we have two logarithms with the same base added to one another, that is equal to the logarithm of the product to the same base, or in other words, logarithm of x to the base b plus logarithm of y to the base b is equal to logarithm of xy to the base b. Therefore, we will have log of 4 or log of 4 to the base 10 plus log of 25 to the base 10 is equal to log of 25 times 4 to the base 10 or log of 100 to the base 10. Let's equate this logarithm to m. Rearranging this equation to become exponential form, it will become 10 raised to m equals 100. But by exponential property of equality, we must express both sides with the same base. So, we know that 100 is equal to 10 squared, therefore m is equal to 2. Problem number 10, evaluate log of 10 to the base 2 minus log of 5 to the base 2. Now that we have a difference of logarithms with the same base, we will use this property. Logarithm of x to the base b minus logarithm of y to the base b is equal to the logarithm of x divided by y to the base b. Applying the property, we will have logarithm of 10 to the base 2 minus logarithm of 5 to the base 2 is equal to logarithm of 10 divided by 5 to the base 2. So we will have logarithm of 2 to the base 2. Now, using this property, log of b to the base b is equal to 1. Therefore, we will have the logarithm of 10 to the base 2 minus logarithm of 5 to the base 2 is equal to 1. Because remember that if we have a logarithm of a number to the same base, which is still 2, that is equal to 1. Problem number 11, evaluate log of 5 cubed. Although we can directly type this to our calculators and obtain the desired result, however, using the properties of logarithm, log of x raised to n to the base b is equal to n times the log of x to the base b, giving us log of 5 cubed to the base 10 because there is no subscript here. Therefore, we can assume that this is a common logarithm or a logarithm with base 10. That is equal to 3 times the logarithm of 5 to the base 10. By using our calculators, logarithm of 5 to the base 10 is equal to 0 0.6990 and multiplying both sides by 3, therefore 3 times log of 5 to the base 10 is equal to 3 times 0 0.6990, thus giving us 2.097. Problem number 12, evaluate log of 5 to the base 5. So, if we have log of b to the base b, that is equal to 1. Therefore, log of 5 to the base 5 is equal to 1. Because if we have log of b to the base b is equal to 1, in exponential form, we will get b raised to 1 equals b. And any number raised to 1 is itself. Problem number 13, evaluate log of 1 to the base 3. So if we have log of 1 to any base b, that is equal to 0. Therefore, log of 1 to the base 3 is equal to 0. And why is that? Because 
we have log of 1 to the base b equals 0. In exponential form, it will give us 3 raised to 0 equals 1. Remember that any number except 0 is raised to 0 is equal to 1. And that's the end of our lecture. What we learned, distinguish the difference between logarithmic function, equation, and inequality. The different laws of logarithms used in solving logarithmic equations and inequality. And we solved problems involving logarithmic equations and inequality. In our next video, we will learn to solve problems involving logarithmic equalities and inequalities. For supplementary problems, you may refer to Quex Book General Mathematics Chapter 3.